Man, that's powerful, man. I'm I'm sitting here thinking about um thinking about when we were in grad school, man. <laughs> uh at 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 Howard University. And I remember my last day of class, my last day of finals in 2011. That's when I graduated from Howard. And I remember the last final I took was in Black church history. It was taught by um, a great sage and scholar, uh, Dr. Renee Harrison. And, um, and we had this conversation. She broke the class up. And, um, and, and, and in breaking the class up, she, 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 she asked the question, you know, what does the, where does the black church sit, you know, about something I can't remember, but when she asked me, well, what is the solution to, what is the black church solution to this issue? I said, the black church solution is this, we need to redefine who we are. We need to redefine ourselves holistically. We need to redefine our faith. We need to re redefine our theology. We need to redefine our biblical hermeneutic. <laughs> we need to redefine our history. And when I say redefine, I mean redefine it in the sense of rewriting, remixing, and telling and telling our true history. I'm talking about being honest, being authentic, being transparent as who we are. And that's why only, only, only people, not people who study us, I'm talking about people who are part of the community. That's why I, I'm with people like Elaine Locke in the sense of the, the, the griots and the philosophers are, are in our arts. You know, you don't, you don't have to go, you don't have to go through the Western system of getting these degrees to be considered a scholar, but you do have to, you do have to say something, you know what I'm saying? And you have to have some substance, you know, the, that, that type of stuff, man, you know? <laughs> and so, and so, you, you know, so I, you know, so I'm with you on that, man. We got to, we got to do it for ourselves, you know? And, and I was also thinking about this whole idea because we use the term black, you know, <laughs> we use the term black. That that term black, but we're really giving that 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 consciousness power. We're speaking power into that and defining it. But um, I think it was um, it, I can't remember what book. Maybe it's Malcolm Gladwell's Outliers. He talked about the blacklist, and and and, and he said that you know this list was made you know, to put movies, you know, that didn't have a good script. They, they, or uh, whatever, whatever, they, they had these categories, uh, you know, these things, these boxes to check off. They'll put these movies in what they call the blacklist. But every movie that was, you know, produced from that blacklist won an Oscar. And so, and so maybe it's, it's the people who are connected to the black church. <laughs> <laughs> that that is the source of 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 resurrecting what it means to have salvation or watch this better yet be salvation salvation is not something you have salvation is something that you embody 